Okay, so let's carry on then. Yes, I had to break the video up into a couple of bits or three or four bits or so because I... To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. He's got a very dark mind, hasn't he, this Coda? Poor chap. But at the same time, maybe he just likes it. By the way, he's got so, I tell you, has he ever thought about being an architect? Like, he's got some lovely ideas for house designs and stuff. You know, I'm just saying, he's... He... Just so you're aware, nothing will happen up here until you've been inside the house. Well, I'm going up here anyway, because I'd like to get a second opinion. Just saying. Plop. 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 Yeah, you're right, nothing's happening. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'll give him credit. He should be an architect. Maybe that's what he went on to do. I mean, this you know, this is not 2011 anymore. This is now, what year is it? 2016? So, yeah, maybe he did. I mean, he likes houses, and he's got a good sort of uh, idea for houses. Hello. Well, my goodness, I'm glad it's all heck that you showed up. I uh, thought I might be having to clean this entire house by myself, and what miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. That's pretty true, actually. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games. Yeah, it is a little bit, actually. this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. But well, it looks very similar to the old chat system, which just moved the text to the right. effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Alright, fair enough. Alright, fine. Clear the table. Yeah, cool. Right, uh, how do I do that? Oh, oh that was easy. Uh, and make the bed. Sure, sure. I don't mind that. Uh, where's the bedroom? Ah, right. Make the bed. Uh, made your bed. You're happy. Why are you straining out the rug a bit? All the little details matter. Oh, fair enough. There you go. The rug is really pulling the room together. Uh, tied the room together. I messed up the quote. Um... How'd you end up doing this job? Uh, a friend dragged me along at a time when I was particularly desperate for cash. Turns out I never felt so good doing something for money in my whole life. Never did like cleaning my own home. Well, I've got some demons I ain't ready to face yet. Don't tell me they're zombie demons. Are they zombie demons? Oh dear, looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Uh, maybe mop that up as long as you're over there. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, sure. I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Yeah, make it especially cheesy. I need. I own. I like lots of cheese with my insights. No. Oh, pfft. No, stupid. Sorry. Never mind. No, I want more cheese. Fine. I won't listen to your cheesy stuff then. Dishes are washed. The sink might need a bit of a clean there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was just gonna say. Yeah. I know, I know. What tub? What tub? What tub? What, the, uh, what, the sink? What tub? Where's the tub? I don't know where the tub is. What tub? This tub. Oh, that Oh, the bathtub. Oh, I see my bad. Sorry, I'm English. Uh, I, my, uh, I usually call it a bath. Uh, yeah, sure. Books, 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 books. Oh, yeah, a bit messy, isn't it? There we go. Ta da Okay, anything else? Uh, now then, how about you come and clear these dishes off? The oh, we've got to do all this again, After haven't we? the set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you. Well, the prison was and really traumatic or anything. Coherent does something meaningful. Uh... Yeah, it is very difficult. <laughs> he tells people to do it. Let me tell you something. Oh, ha, 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 that isn't cheesy. That's alright. I, I enjoy it. I know that Coda really liked this game. I can tell. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was like grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Fair enough. Perhaps he was. Perhaps he discovered weed. 
And yeah, I suppose, yeah, no, I get the philosophy behind that. No, no, nothing weird about that at all. Uh, it is pretty cheesy though, but yeah, I, I think you're right. <laughs> so, more cleaning? Housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Books, would you please clear up the books? Okie doko. Books have been cleaned. Ah, oh, it's a bloody couch. It leaves invisible things. I'm glad he found some peace. Uh, oh, right. Question. Yes. Hello. Question. Do you enjoy this? Of course, it can't last. Oh, what? Well, the music stops. Your companion is gone. It's time to leave. What? The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. I was in again. You can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. I was enjoying that. I was enjoying that. Why, why did it have to stop? I suppose everything does stop in the end. Fair enough. Oh well. I enjoyed that. Thank you for that. That was a nice experience. I genuinely did. I thought that was quite therapeutic and calming. The music helps the... Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. Well, that's a good point. I really thought that was the point of it. That's that's a fair point to make. I mean, yeah, we all do at some point, whether we like to or not. Items you love are only members' prices. <laughs> Why did you come here today? Because uh, I was forced to. No. No. Uh, I don't have any. <laughs> no. Uh, did I? Uh, well, enlighten me then. Uh, why would I want to do that? Because that's not necessarily perfect. Oh. Uh. Okay, I, I don't really agree with you, good sir, but... About halfway through the game, the perspective shifts. Oh, will you stop spoiling it? Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. I mean, I was expecting some sort of jump scare, some sort of evil. And you play as the teacher. Suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh! And also, you can move around the classroom now. Oh, can I? Oh, sweet. So, is that meant to represent the fear of the person? Okay. Oh, no, I've done, done. Okay, no, I like that. I mean, that is freaky, but I like the, I like the pattern. So, again, points. <laughs> this is the key. How do I achieve it with no efforts? On the way to work, I told Nell the best to start country in society. Kids should not follow their dreams. No, kids should not now. Let's, let's just go with the yellow text. How do I achieve it with no effort? Well, let me tell you right now. If it isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer. Whee! If, you're trying to tor if you try torturing yourself, trying to find the right solution to your life, you're not doing it right. Fair enough. Whee! Seek out... I, I do realise that there's grey text. Um, but I'm not bothering to say that. Ooh, I'm developing a cis Wait, is the X and B like the greyed out thoughts what the teacher's really thinking? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it wants to do some ecstasy after this. Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is funny. I felt pretty hard for this one. Yeah, I... I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way. Yeah, I get it. And completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. No, I get it. That's I cool. I noticed the lamppost in the background as well. No, okay, no, I like that one. That was creepy, but I like that one. But again, it's just one of those ones where you're like, eh. Uh, I don't know. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. 
That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex. Perhaps he's just started getting so bored. I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Well, perhaps he just got bored or something. I don't know. Right then. Okay, sorry about that. I had to uh, just go see my mother. She'd come back from work. I'm not going to go out and go shopping with her in a bit. She's like, I want to go now. And I'm like, no, I've got this to finish yet. Oh, dear. Anyway, we'll get this finished. Ooh. Well, no wonder why it took him four months to complete. There's a lot of detail to this. Like you said, this detail starts getting better slightly. But is this still all with the source engine? I'm going to imagine it is. Okay. This kind of reminds me of this level of uh, an old PlayStation game my dad used to have called Dracula 2 Resurrection. I think it was originally on the PC, but we got the PlayStation port because we never had a, a, a very strong PC for many years. You know, all my friends and all that were much richer than us had, like, you know, all the powerful PCs and stuff like that, but we didn't. So we had the games consoles instead, which I was fine with because I love games consoles. Um, but we got this game on the PlayStation called Dracula Resurrection, uh, Dracula 2 Resurrection or something like that. No, it wasn't. It was Dracula Resurrection and then Dracula 2 something. Um, and it's based on the whole uh, Dracula story. Um, and it was pretty good, but there's this bit in the second game where you're in this like theatre place and it's really creepy. Um, and it's like a first person point and click game. Um, and then you go into a room that's very similar to this. And then this like statue, or this like robotic version of Dracula, starts chasing you around the thing and it's so creepy. Like, really creepy. Oh, God, like that. That just made me jump. Oh, it's really, really freaky. You will be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. Okie dokie. First, you'll start leaning against this wall. Right here. Good, stay right there. Okay, I'm staying there. The woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. Okay. This is your one chance to learn something for her, to gain something to succeed. Go on, say something to her. What, from over here? God, have I got to stay leaning on here? <laughs> uh, hello? Hello? That's it? Well, that's not a conversation. Uh, you need to actually converse with her, be a human being. Do it again. Uh... No. Wise, happy, focused, successful. Good for you. Oh no, I can't be bothered. I'm just going to leave now. <whistles> oh, I can't leave with these stupid invisible walls. So, is, is there a way to leave? Because this is silly. Oh god, the frame rate's dying on me again. <laughs> That's the hard drive. Okay, fine. Um, I like you. Yeah, well, I don't know what you want. <laughs> okay. Bounce. Bounce. Now talk to her again, okay? Uh, you don't mind if I play a bit of pinball in front of you? Uh, <laughs> I bet you've learned to lean into the pain. Uh... Ah, uh, the old... Yeah, that one. You're messing it all up again. You freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realise how important this was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything was riding on this. Oh, hang on. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh, it's a lamppost. Still got no feet. Ugh. I'm not going down there. Spooky down there. Oh, right. I'll give him credit though. I mean, the game's got a great sense of scope about it. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. 
Uh. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. Right, that he makes keeps sense. Backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. No. It, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from him. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. Uh. What can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Nice. I mean, if he's got social problems, he's got social problems. It's not really... What? To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. Okay, fine. I will. My eyes are closed. I oh, know you can't see me with my eyes closed, but they are closed. I cannot see anything. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in front of me. I haven't got a clue. I, I don't know if I'm walking forwards or walking into a wall. I have no idea. It feels very dramatic. That or sounds very dramatic. I should say. I have no idea what I'm doing. My eyes are closed. I don't. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> this is so lame. It's a ship. Probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. Oh right. And there is a solution, by the way. Oh right, okay. Well, that's not quite what I was expecting, but yeah, no, no, I, I was blind. I promise. It's one of those ones where you need a face cam, but I can't do face cam for professional reasons. It's real, real shame. Oh god, there's a door that's gonna hit us. No, and then we die, don't we? <laughs> okay. Um, what's going on? Oh, right. Well, that was easy. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Oh. It's not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like... You know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Koda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. Okay. So now it's time to get deep. Are going to get more desperate from here on out. I was After just about thinking this. Almost six months before he finishes something new. Four, five, six months. Is there any logic to the countdown or not? Oh, oh whatever. Okay. Um, hello? Ooh. That's kind of neat. Uh, is anyone out there? Wow. This is disturbingly relaxing. <laughs> is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. Oh, good times. What's wrong? You look lost. Uh, just a tad. Yeah, but, you know, I've been lost for a long time. Uh, I'm completely out of ideas. Oh, no! <laughs> What's happened? Did something change? Uh, there was a machine that kept me going and it stopped. Wait, you're looking for a machine? I don't know. I think I know where it is. It isn't far. Oh, that's good. All right, well, can you let me know where it is? Oh, it's all disappearing. Um, I need to see it's nowhere it stopped. No, I think I got it wrong. 
I can take you to it, but there's a problem. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about if you can help solve puzzle with the machine, deal? This one turns it up to eleven. Oh, uh, right. Put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet still he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Maybe because he spent a few years using it to express himself that if he stops expressing himself through it, he's completely alone and therefore ceases to exist. Alright, deal. And I guess the impossible puzzle is how to um, get him to start making games again or feel feel good about himself or something. Or is it the door puzzle again? I don't know. Got from my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so... He didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. Yeah, I kind of gathered that. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Yeah, I, I kind of gathered that. Can I... Oh. Uh, I recognise this. Oh, wonderful. Can you tell me how to do it? Uh, first you have to open the door. Oh, uh, it's a bit different now. Uh, now you have to close the f first door. Uh, uh, now press the switch. That was so simple. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't. No, you're you quite right. I've tried it. You can't writing both the questions no, you can't. and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. Yes. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Yes, I agree. Oh, that's the words that I answered. Um, there is a machine there. This is the machine, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so you have to say that your work is fun. You have to say that game development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100% of the game at the time. Okay. Uh, why do the walls just crumble? Don't worry about that, just keep talking. Keep saying that creation is easy. Uh, it never stops being easy. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, look really unhealthy to me. Uh, yeah, you don't say! <laughs> He's got somebody crying in the background and loads of words that we've already said. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like... Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. From his perspective, possibly, yes. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. Hmm. Interesting. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. 
Yeah, he's lying to himself, to maybe. More than anything, I had never felt so rotten. I just, I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. Yeah. Oh, the prison again. Oh, I see where all this is being connected and stuff. Oh, God. Okay, that's that's different. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes... Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, what's all... With this weird, strange countdown of months as well, I've noticed that. Like, I think there was like three months and two months as well. So like two, three, four, five, six, seven, and probably one as well. That machine. That machine for pigs. Better not be a machine for pigs. Hey, God. Ma'am, glad to see you arrived safely. You captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation wherever you like. Uh, I intend to be quiet. Very good. Uh, just be warned that someone called the press, so we might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing that you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh, good lord. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, uh, yes, many questions, many answers to which I have none for these questions. But if you keep answering the questions and... Uh, Keep saying the word press on your face, then uh, everything will be great and grand and true and wonderful. Oh, there's a gap way there. Hold on. There's a way, though, eh? I want to know what that way is. It's got a double door thing. It looks kind of evil. And that day, too. No, nope. yeah, okay. Okay, bye bye then. Enjoy your questions. Hello, machine. So you're me, are we? Or your coder? And of course, it's the machine. Yes, I can see that. I'm not quite sure how it works, though. Frame rate's a bit droppy though, unfortunately. I do apologise about that. You stopped. You stopped feeding us. There's people out there. Can you imagine what pain you've put them through? So here's what's to happen. You need to go out and apologise to them. That's right, machine. You need to go out there. You need to be a man. You need to say, sorry bros, I am... I'm so sorry! Don't think the machine's listening to us. No, I, I think the machine's not really... I, I, it's kind of hard to talk to a machine. Very difficult to talk to a machine. I've tried it. It doesn't, doesn't always work. Alright, then I'll speak to them for you. Oh, that's nice of us. Yeah, well, I can handle the press. Don't worry about this. I got this. Alright, you cool, bro? I got this, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, uh, I have been speaking with the machine and the uh, machine says that he is feeling very tired at the moment and this looks very similar to that place uh, in that film with Leonardo DiCaprio. Not the new film where he's getting loads of Oscars, but the one, it was a Christopher Nolan film. Was it called Inception? I think it looks very similar to that place. Anyway, sorry, I watched it the other day. It was a bit of a boring film. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, this... Uh, I shall say to you because the machine wants me to say this to you and then he wants me to say uh, this uh, that there's some news to be bad um, and the machine uh, uh, it will not apologise um, because yeah um, I don't know frame rate is dying the hard drive is going uh, I'm just going to keep pressing the X button because yeah so no I don't want to destroy I don't want to destroy the machine Oh, uh, well, right. Perhaps it's probably for the best. Okay, we'll destroy the machine. Go! Let's lead the charge! Right, you ready? Okay. Charge! Oh, we're back on the stage again. Oh. Oh! Alright. Uh. Machine? Remember, you can click to fire the gun. Yeah, I know that. Oh, oh, my bad. Sorry, I was pressing the, I was pressing the trigger button. <laughs> my bad. I forgot the game only has... Okay, I'll make sure your work dies here. Uh, let's, let's be positive. 
we... Oh, I, it's kind of like paint or a delete button or something. Isn't that what you're scared of? So Exposed the views of others? Becoming self -destructive. Yes, you can, I, I can see you, that. At the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> Destroy! <laughs> Kill! He's stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his games, it might get him out of isolation. It, yeah, probably. It probably would do, actually, yeah. Oh, oh, oh no, it's so, the time-rider. not doing a break the time rose. I realized that I could be the one to initiate. Oh, hence why these games have been made. I see. To start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if I did it for it? Yeah, I get it. If he could see the difference, it would I mean, make money off it as well. You're making six pounds ninety nine a pot with these games. You do realize that, don't you, you greedy would bastard? Bring him out of his mental spiral. Sorry for swearing there, but would still. It give him confidence in himself. Would it bring meaning back into his work? I don't know. But it's kind of satisfying to destroy all these things. Oh no! Oh no! What have I done? Ah! So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape game. All right, I like the one with the gun. And trusted, I asked their opinions. And what do they think? And the great part is that they really loved his game. Well, good for them. Uh, this kind of—is this where Splatoon came from for Nintendo? Point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. Oh, well, good for them. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. No. But it's like this old age thing when people are depressed or scared or got social anxieties that they don't necessarily see that and it takes a huge amount of effort um, to um, to do uh, to actually realise what people are trying to say to them is has some truth to it or has some reality to it. I'm not pressing the buttons by the way. Can I put the gun down? Apparently not. Oh, I blew the machine up. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. Oh, fair so place, when, yeah. when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. Oh, good for you. I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something. Well, you're a very nice chap, aren't you? I really felt like I'd done something good, like like I was a good. I mean, yes, it didn't like there was quite work out the way you intended, was it? And was unhappy, and and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. Well, I can't seem to drop they the gun. Told me how much they enjoyed his games. It was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it yeah, it made so you feel happy, but did it make him so happy? Beautifully, beautifully happy. Did it make him happy? Did it make him happy? Question mark? Um, so anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. Okay. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email. Okay. And it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower. And to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. It's not the Talus Principle, is it? So let's take a look. Do I really want to? I don't know why I'm asking myself that. It's not like I've got a choice. <sighs> okay. This is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because, because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. Well, maybe he is, and if he was, he let him do it. Game. Well, yeah, it's cool though. I like it. Kind of, it's slightly Half-Life influenced, or well, Half-Life 2 influenced. Um, pretty dark and eerie. You know, the sound effects and the music's pretty nasty and stuff. So, yeah. But maybe he just did, and sometimes there's just not a lot you can do with those people. You can't help them. You know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't help them. Of course, you should try. Has a maze in it. Oh God, I'm not. Uh, uh. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible, and then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. Yeah. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. Is this his reflection but of what you were trying to do? To show you the rest of the level, so when you're ready to continue, press the use key on your gamepad, and I'll put a bridge over the maze. 
Uh, okay, I'm probably going to let you do that, to be honest with you, because I don't really have a lot of time. But, I mean, I take it then this is his way of saying that he didn't like you showing his work off to the rest of the world? And he really just wanted to recall away, or at least it didn't work for him? I don't know. I recognise these floors, though. You recycled these from the Stanley Parable, didn't you? Uh, well, there's probably, like, basic source engine code, so I'm not going to complain too much. I see... Oh, some people just can't be helped, you know? And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. Is that why you stopped me playing it? it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. Did it? What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Maybe you're trying to find meaning in something that has no meaning. You ever thought about that? Like, maybe there is absolutely no meaning to these at all whatsoever, and it's just... It's like me, you know, I overcomplicate things by looking at things and trying to come up with this reason or logic behind it, when in actual fact, there is no meaning or logic behind it. It just is what it is, you need to move on. Um, so, if, if this game has taught me anything, it's just reminded me of the fact that I really do need to just, you know, be a bit more positive and get on with life and all that MacGuffin, and yeah, it's fair enough, it's nice to be reminded of that. Doesn't necessarily mean I will, though. I might end up going down the same path as Coda. The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. No, I'm not going to be able to do that, am I? Cause... Like the Invisible Maze, it's frustrating to me. Because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. Mm. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him. But I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Blimey, you actually spent time and worked it out? Or did you just hack into the game? Oh, for sake. Did you actually spend time trying to work this out, like, on your own? Or did you... If you did, fair play to you. But you must have spent a lot of time on that. I'm going to imagine you hacked into the game and found the code. That's, that's the thing I'm going to imagine. One five one six one seven. It's a bit of an old number, but whatever. Okay, cool. Do, 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 It's not really a lot. There's really much more to say, really, is there? Just except, uh, yeah, interesting. Wee plop. That. The switch to open this door is actually on the other oh, side. Oh, right. Meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely. And some artists saying, do. You know, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Not giving me any way to fix the problem. Probably because there's no problem to fix. Like failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. Well, we all feel that way. If we can't fix something. But then again, maybe there wasn't something to fix. So let me do that. Okay, how did you know how to do that then? Oh, don't tell me your coder. Oh god, it's going to be one of those, Was isn't I it? Was a failure for not understanding this game? Well, you managed to... Wait, I don't know why there. I would be. It's not oh, he flipped like everything it. Needs to have oh, a solution, whatever. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed. And I don't understand why. Well, what is it that people say you need to separate your feelings and your thoughts from each other sometimes? You know, they do go hand in hand, but you mustn't let the one dominate the other. I remember. It's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time. How are you not bored? Point, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. No. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew. It wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. Yeah, fair play to you, that. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. Fair enough. I mean, I you shouldn't blame so yourself for not having a go. Well, at least having a go, I should games say. Mean to him. I asked him, please, to tell me what the three dots mean. The three dots. And he wouldn't. Because perhaps they don't mean anything. I mean, was he special type thing, you know? Like, did he have anything on his medical record to say he was special? No, yeah, I don't know. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected... Did you with love him? That if I could have <gasps> somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It 
was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. Ah, so you used him as a... And left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. That, or he just got annoyed with you trying to impose yourself on him. And it's just his way of saying, please F off. In the kindest possible way. <laughs> Where did I screw up? Maybe you didn't. Oh, God. Maybe he just doesn't want this. And maybe... Well, whatever. I, I, I don't know. Ah. Dear Davey, thank you for your interest in my games. I need to ask you to not speak to me anymore. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. Yeah, there you go. I poisoned it for you. Oh. Uh, yeah, because you kept saying, oh, it made me happy, but you never really said it made him happy. And never did you ask him, did you? Well, if you did, he didn't respond, but then... Yeah. I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Well, I can't really say anything, can I? This is between Davy and Coda. I really shouldn't say anything at all. And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. You've so infected my personal you space really that it's possible I did to begin planning solutions in my work somewhere. To say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Wait, wasn't... You trying to get coders like himself, but it's now reverberated and ended back on you? If there was an answer or meaning, would it make you any happier? I don't think he was happy in the first place. Did you stop taking my games and showing them to people against my wishes? Give them something that is not yours to give, violating the one boundary that keeps me safe. Hang on a minute, is this a snubber LPs? Is this a snubber Let's Players? It is, isn't it? I'm confused. And then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. What does that mean? Well, can you not just take your own advice and move on? You know, you've been so adamant about doing that to Coda, and couldn't you do it to yourself? <laughs> when I'm around you, I feel physically ill. I get that a lot from people, so yeah. You desperately need something, and I can't give it to you. I literally do not have it. That reminds me, actually, of a personal experience I've had recently. Hmm. Sorry, I had to stall on that. That actually just rang a very personal memory of strong emotion. I should pay attention to that. Thank you, game. Actually, I'm being legitimately honest with you here. That's actually a good reminder. I needed that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it does. It does. Yeah. This is good, I like this. Oh, I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. Oh, What does it say? Hang on. And when you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. Oh. Ooh. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything, and so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. Aww. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, Will you start making games again? Please, 
I need to feel okay with myself again. And I yeah, but it's not really about okay you, though, is it? That's, that, that's kind of where the mistake is happening, though, isn't it? I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your <laughs> work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please, help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. He just said he can't, though. Whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way. That <laughs> I'm I about was. to get squashed. <laughs> I want to know how to, how to, I know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Oh, well, that's that then. <laughs> Boom. Eh, yeah. is that it? Is that the end of the game? No, epilogue. I hope I haven't ever run into time, because I've got a horrible suspicion I have. Uh, right, hang on, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs>